Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel today. I am bringing you my favorites for the month of September. Sorry, I totally spaced on last month's favorites. I just had so much going on. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I've been doing like a nesting series where I've been just like going through my whole house and cleaning and reorganizing. Um... I have been filming that, so I've just been so busy with that, but I'm done with that now. So that's a huge relief, but um, yeah, I just had a lot going on, and I just totally skipped out on my favorites video last month. So I apologize for that, um, but I do have quite a few things to talk about this month, so let's go ahead and dive in. The first one I'm going to start with is one that has gotten a lot, a lot of hate, a lot of controversy. Um, there's just a lot of stuff surrounding this palette um, and that is the Anastasia subculture palettes a lot of people were super super unhappy with the performance of this palette I really like it um, I will link my swatches and review down below I did do a whole like swatch video interview when I first got this so I'll link that video down below but um, I did want to put it in a favorites video because I really do love this palette First of all, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. I love where it's still like kind of neutral, but then you also get pops of like green and blue and orange and yellow and red and purple and pinks. It's just a beautiful, really well put together palette in my opinion. So what people were really unhappy with about this palette is uh, I think two main things. The first thing being that it's really powdery and it kicks up a lot of dust. Um, I would have to agree with that. Um, it is very powdery. It does kick up dust and pigment and powder, but that doesn't bother me personally. A lot of my high-end palettes kick up a lot of dust, a lot of powder. It's just not something that really truly bothers me. Um, the other thing that people were saying was just the formula wasn't good. It was choppy, it didn't blend well, um, and I, I just didn't have that problem personally. I thought the colors were gorgeous, highly pigmented, blended out fine. I just didn't see um, that side of things. I don't know if there was some bad palettes that got sent out or a bad batch or what happened there, but um, I know that a lot of people did have that issue. I was not one of those people that had that issue personally. Um, so for me, I love this palette. I've been using it non-stop. I think the colors are gorgeous. I think it is a beautiful, well put together palette, so I definitely had to include it in a favorites video. If you guys got that palette, let me know down below your thoughts on it. I am still really curious on what people are saying about it and, um, you know, um, just kind of what's going on with it. So let me know your thoughts on the palette down below. The next thing I have been absolutely obsessing over this last month is this brush, which I got in, I think, a BoxyCharm last month. This is the um, Moda Pro brush, and it is the BMX 130 pointed brush. It looks like this. First of all, the handle is just... I love just like the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I love, I just love the handle of the brush, I guess. The um, texture of the brush is kind of like that matte, like that NARS packaging feeling where it's like that soft matte um, rubber almost, but it's textured, so it's kind of cool. So I really like the handle of the brush, and I just like this brush in general. I didn't own a brush that looks like this. Um... But this brush is just so perfect for setting under the eyes. It's just, it's absolutely perfect. That is what I've been using it for. I'm sure that there's a lot of uses for big fluffy brushes like this. Um, but before I got this, I was just using like an angled brush to set my under eye, which worked fine. But I just really, really like this for setting under my eye. I think it's the perfect shape and it's just, it's just a great brush. I think this would also be good for like bronzer or just a bunch of stuff you could use this brush for so I have been absolutely loving this brush I want to get a couple more um like this shape I just love the shape of this brush and this one is super super soft and again it's just really well made and I really like just how the handle feels and it's just a really really nice brush so I have been absolutely loving this guy next thing I want to talk about is another thing that I filmed a review on which I will link again down below but this is the it cosmetics celebration foundation illumination foundation I bought this so long ago planning to do a review on it and then I totally 
totally forgot about it and then it just recently found it in my drawer again and I was like oh yeah I need to review that so I finally put the review up on this foundation but I love this foundation so much I've been wearing it non-stop it is so so gorgeous I have really dry skin so powder foundations for me really just don't work but what drew me to this is that it is you know an illuminating powder foundation so um, I wanted to try it I've heard that a lot of people that have dry skin really like this foundation so I definitely wanted to give it a go and I'm so glad that I did because it's absolutely stunning it gives you just the most beautiful glowy skin from within it's just absolutely stunning it's super easy to use super fast um, it's just a beautiful beautiful foundation if you have dry skin and you are scared of powder foundations like I was definitely definitely try this because it is flawless it is so so pretty and it does not dry out my skin I got mine in the shade medium which normally I get light in like everything but for some reason the light was just super super light so I went ahead and got medium and for me and my skin tone it's perfect I'm so glad I got medium so I have been loving this the next product I have been loving is this um, Maybelline master chrome by face studio metallic highlighter looks like this I, I think this is new I'm not sure for sh I'm not for sure that this is new it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging that it's new but I had never seen it when I picked it up so that makes me think that it's new, but I could be wrong. Um, first of all, the like imprint on this is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love when companies like just do a little something extra and like do a fancy little imprint um, in the product like that. I think it's so beautiful, especially f to see it from like a drugstore brand. You know, I thought that that was really, really cool. And this is just the most beautiful, beautiful gold highlight. It reminds me of Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. It's just the most beautiful gold highlight. So, so pretty. For a long time, um, good highlights from the drugstore were hard to come by, and now they're just popping up everywhere, and I absolutely love it. So I have just been obsessing over this highlight. It's just, it's stunning. If you're on the market for a good gold highlight, then you need to go pick this up right away because it is gorgeous. Another highlight that I want to talk about that I've been loving this month is out of the, um, Sun Dipped Glow Kit by Anastasia. All these are absolutely gorgeous, but one that I have been absolutely obsessing over is this one right down here, which is Moonstone. It is so, so pretty. Like, I am just shook every time I wear this highlight. It does not take much at all to just, oh, it's so, so pretty. Like, seriously, if I could recommend any highlight out of this palette it would definitely be Moonstone. Summer's pretty too. They're, I mean they're all pretty but Moonstone is definitely my favorite. I don't know if this is sold separately. I will try and find that and um, let you guys know if it's sold separately but uh, this whole palette is amazing so I definitely would recommend getting the whole palette but Moonstone specifically oh it's just it's absolutely stunning. I have been grabbing for this non-stop just for that specific shade. The next thing I want to talk about is um, some lashes. These are the Ardell Lashes in 110. I have been wearing these lashes non-stop. They are just the perfect, like, everyday go-to lash. They are the perfect length. They are nice and wispy. They're not, like, bam in your face, but they just give you a little extra something-something if that's what you want. So I've been wearing these non-stop. I absolutely love these. I love all the Ardell lashes. You really can't go wrong, especially if you're a beginner. And applying lashes, they're super, super easy to apply. But the 110s, if you're just looking for something really simple and, you know, not in your face, and I definitely, definitely recommend the 110s. They are amazing. And the last thing I want to talk about is by Too Faced, and this is the Too Faced Hangover. RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I am so obsessed with this stuff. It's a little bit on the pricey side. I think it was like 30 some dollars. So definitely pricey, but 
I love that you can use this for so many different things. You can use it as a primer, like it says, a setting spray, like it says, but I also really like it for um, wetting down, like, shadows and making them super, super pigmented. So you can definitely use this spray for multiple things. I have mainly been using it as a setting spray. They also do say you can use it as just, like, a refresher spray, so, like, in the middle of the day, if you're feeling a little bit blah, you can spray it on your face, kind of refresh your makeup a little bit. So I absolutely love this spray, and I especially love the sprayer in this. Um, sometimes, like, a product that's supposed to spray nicely just doesn't have a good sprayer on it. It'll spray, like, one solid spray, or it just doesn't spray how it should. But the sprayer on this gives you just, like, the perfect mist spray. I absolutely love absolutely love this and it smells exactly like the um, primer so if you like the smell of the primer if you like the primer then you're definitely definitely gonna love this I hope that they come out with a lot more stuff in this line like they have the peach line I know but I really hope that they come out with more um, stuff in this line because I really really like it all right guys well that wraps up my favorites for the month of September thank you guys so much for watching let me know some of the products you guys have been loving down below don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next one